All right, well, Friday night is the night. Our first edition of Twin Tiers Football tonight at 11, covering all the highlights and more. So to get you ready, check out this preview. Hard, hard. Touchdown! All the touchdowns. All the tackles. And everything else in between. Twin Tiers Football. Every Friday night, this fall. Yes, epic stuff. Myself and Josh gets off. Be there. Hey, Syracuse grad and running back Antoine Bailey was released today by the Washington Redskins. The 5'7", 195 pounder rushed for 1,051 yards for the Orange last year. Twan's old stomping grounds. The Carrier Dome was ranked by USA Today as the fourth toughest place to play in the Big East. What we're saying? Yeah, we think it should be higher. But Cincinnati topped the list followed by Rutgers and Louisville. All right, well, looking for a job. So is Spencer's Jeff Foote in basketball. But this sounds like the right fit. The Brooklyn Nets are still in search for a backup center. And Foote did play for the Nets summer league team. Former backup Sheldon Williams out of Duke signed to play in France. He was, of course, with the Nets. Foote could be back for Springfield in the NBA D-League this year where he was an all-star. Foote did play in four games for the New Orleans Hornets in 2012. Hopefully defenseman Kyle Bushy will play a lot this year. No relation to Kyle Bush, obviously. The Jackals signed up today, making him the seventh player signed for the year. Kyle played the better part of three years in Wheeling for the Nailers with 91 career ECHL points. Baseball Cornell junior outfielder Chris Cruz is rated the sixth best MLB prospect by the PGCBL today. Cruz played for the Diamond Dogs this summer, batting 319, eight homers and 40 ribbies. Well, maybe the Cruz, he will be in the big soon. We'll see him on ESPN, hopefully. The network and MLB, Major League Baseball, worked out a new eight-year, $5.6 billion deal through 2021. The postseason will return to ESPN in 2014. And, Scott, that is a lot of cash. 